Uh, friends, welcome to Adventist Angels Watch on Radio. It is time. Prophecies are unraveling before us. We know that the time of trouble, trouble which has never been since the beginning of the world, is upon us. It all started in Kenya. They say it all started in China, but I tell you, it all started in Kenya. During the locust invasion in Kenya, it all started in Kenya before the pandemic came. It all started in Kenya. Now, what am I saying? Kenya, root to the president, says the vision deaths of pastors followers akin to terrorism. When there was an invasion of locust in Kenya, we had a starvation, a starvation which we are experiencing till today, the aftershocks of the pandemic, uh, uh, pestilence 19. It is all about the depopulation agenda. And it all started when Pope Francis became the chaplain of the United Nations, speaking for the world, speaking for the nations. They have demoted the king of heaven and they have appointed the so-called prince of peace, in quotes. Roman Catholic principles will be taken under the care and the protection of the states. This national apostasy will speedily be followed by national ruin. The review and error at June 15, 1897, by Sister Ellen G. White. A generation with this leader, read Psalms 140, verses 11. Faith leaders spread the word, get the job. Pope Francis has been spreading and said, spread the word. And all this we have seen the aftershocks. Pastors fight piggy prata targeting of summons. It all is about, about the war of Christianity. What is Ruto after? Ruto has been spearheading the message of Pope Francis, the chaplain of the United Nations. And he has been spearheading, going ahead, going ahead. It all started in Kenya. Before I give you a glimpse of uh, what is just before us, I would ask that we pray. We would just uh, pray. Father in heaven, the king of the universe, speak to your people as we listen. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen. The book of Joel, chapter 1, verse 4. That which the paramagom has left, the locust has eaten. And that which the locust has left, as the kangaworm eaten. And that which the kangaworm has left, as the caterpillar eaten. Awake, you drunkards, and weep. And the howl, you drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation is come upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and yet the cheek teeth of a great lion. He had laid my vine west and packed my fig tree. He has made it clean pear and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. What is God speaking? That one crisis is uh, succeeding another. Another crisis follows after another. People are looking for solutions. To whom are they going to? Many are going to seek help from Rome to the chaplain of the United Nations. Like he seems like a solution maker. But my Bible tells me in the book of uh, Second Peter chapter 3, while they promised them liberty, these same people, these, they are leading people to bondage. They are the servants of corruption. You have been hearing in Kenya corruption, corruption since the election period. It all started in Kenya. And it's now the signal that the time of trouble is just before us. The time of trouble, brethren, is, uh, is all about, upon us. For a nation, for a peace, a nation is a peace. Revelation chapter 13 and even the book of Daniel chapter 7 speaks that a peace is a nation. For a nation is come upon my land. Who is this becoming the chaplain of the Na United Nations? And all the world is wondering after this peace, after this nation, they are going to Rome. All roads lead to Rome, prophets have said. He has laid my vine west. Who is the vine? Jesus Christ is the vine. He is uh, removing Jesus Christ from the bracket he has laid my vine west and he has packed my fig tree he has made it clean pear awake you drunkards god is speaking to those people who are drinking false doctrines false cup and passover of jezebel jezebel is daughters 450 false prophets and 400 prophets of pal these are drunkards of one they are drinking doctrines from rome they are made drunk weep god is speaking like the time of pentecost let's weep Let's out all you drinkers of wine because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. What is happening? It is all about uh, targeting summons. We saw in Pestilence 19. How did you not run?
How did you not see? How did you not understand these things? Oh, brethren, how is it that you are a dad of hearing? Paul Francis, those who insist on keeping the truth over preaching the gospel, have always threatened the church. We saw this in the past 19 uh, pandemic. These messages were happening in such a time. What is happening here? Who is threatening another? Is he a terrorist? Let's see. Povo, Lutherans, Anglican, growing in common faith. This was uniting churches for a common cause. These things were seen in Kenya. Do you understand? You think those things are true? How true are they? How do you, how better do you understand what is behind the scenes? There is an inversion of nations. Foundations of the earth are shaking terribly. Nations are at war. And this is the beginning of sorrows. Earthquakes, we have been seeing it everywhere. Pestilence, 19 diseases of every kind. Don't you understand? Do you trust God, Pope Francis, to activists? Stand with migrants. Indeed, understand very soon people are becoming migrants. We are going to uh, free from the cities. You should have done that before. You should have uh, ran from the cities. Do not deny climate science. There is no such thing as Islamic terrorism, Pope Francis says on Act to Activist. There is no such thing as Islamic terrorism. What is it then? So what is it? Let the Kenyan leader tell us. Terrorist, President Ruto Prince Krivi sector, uh, sect leader, Mackenzie, a criminal. But Pope Francis said climate change is what is criminal. It's a sin. It's a crime. It's, it's a crime. Do you understand what he said about uh, gay sim and homosexuality? It's not a crime. Do you now see something common here? Let's see what George Perry wrote a memo calling Papa Seo Paul Francis a catastrophe. Climate change is driving millions to the precipice of a raging food catastrophe. Food catastrophe? Starvation in Kenya, locust invasion. Did you understand? It is all about uniting everything, one currency, one religion, one government, one religion leader, moral leader. What is all of this? The group of this agenda. The Kenyan current leader, Mackenzie, freely preached dangerous teachings. It's about the war of Jesus Christ. The book of Psalms chapter 2, God is calling upon us, weep. Why do the nations rage? The nations are raging. The nations are raging. The food. The catastrophe, the flood. This is over a war over Christianity. Oh, brethren, awake. Jesus is calling. It's a war of books as the war of books rages. It's a war. It's a war, friends. It's a war. God is seeking his people to be awakened. It's a war. It's a clear war. There is a war here. God is saying to his people, awake. Awake. The time of trouble is here. Let God's people awake. It is time for God's people to be awakened. Who is here to awaken God's people? Why do the nation rage? The nations are raging. It's a fraud. It's a fraud, friends, combusting God's people. Will you be awakened? Will you see? Sudan evacuation. Kenya cart mass grave. Grashes uh, chat GPT. What is it? Bishop present environment pledge to Pope Francis in interfaith feast, uniting religions. These are three and green spirits like frogs gathering for the war of Armageddon. The war of Armageddon is here. It's just we are entering a time of trouble is here. It all started in Kenya starvation. This land serves not walls but bridges to be pure. It all started with Pope Francis. Pope declares terror, profaning God's name. What is name? Terror? Terror? What did the Kenyan readers say? It is terrorists. It is terrorists. Proposes closing down libraries. Uh -huh. Over 400 households displaced by raging floods in Kisumu County. The book of Psalms chapter 2, go read it. It says, why do the nations rage? It's a raging food catastrophe. Starvation. Starvation. Do you understand? Oh, friends, a time of trouble. Trouble which has never been since the beginning of the world is upon us. Oh, awake. Ah, what can I say to awaken God's people? What can I say? What can I just say? Fundamentalist terrorism, result of deviant religion. They are a deviant religion if they don't follow what Pope Francis is speaking. They don't, if they don't follow the words of Pope Francis, then... They are a deviant religion. They must be eliminated. Kenyan cult leader Mackenzie freely preached dangerous teachings. If you 
are threatening the church. If you are teaching something different from Pope Francis's word, you are dangerous to the community, to the common good, common good, something common. We agree together, something common. Pope launches green, in sh green Pope launches green initiative, launches a new gospel friends. He launches a green initiative, green. Do you know where the peace was in the Garden of Eden? In the Garden of Eden, it was green and good. Pope launches green initiative, the crying predatory attitude towards planet. He wants to, to make something new. What has he been agitating? I've been sharing this over and over. It's about the Sabbat. It's a war over the Sabbat. New right academics argue for empirical land making, law making, law making. New right, the new right, not the right which they are agitating over from the time past. A new right. You look on another perspective. A new world order is a new right. Why does the Pope love this trippy dystopian novel from 1907? Can America overcome its own divisions to confront the China threat? Now there is a threat. There is a threat here. A thread. We have, we have come, come to a time where people are saying, see, this thing is safe. President 19 jab and shot is safe. Pope tells tech companies they are responsible for child safety. Those people who are also destroying children. Those who have been hearing molesting children. Those people who have been hearing in Canada deaths of children in the schools in, and in Canada. They are the same people who are saying, we are protecting you. The destroyer. The devil is a destroyer, and he just comes before you say, I will protect you, I'm coming to protect you. Who will save the world? Refugees suffer this bigger and more grower than ever. Refugees suffer. But the Lord God of heaven has a, his own suffer, which is true for his true refugees who are pilgrims upon the earth. The Bible saying we need to protect our common home. Is he a refugee? Is he a pilgrim? No, friends. The war is over worship. Worship him who made. Will you listen to God of heaven? Peter and science order. Prioritizing environmental justice. What is it? Order. This is, it all started from the letter from Pope Francis. A letter. Peter and science. Peter and science. Peter and is also becoming a religious entity now. As Pope Francis is yeah, a, pot, a religious and a political entity. Who was that a religious and a political entity? religious and political entity, a man was a religious and political entity. Do you understand what is happening in Persia? In the book of Revelation chapter 13 it speaks there is a nation like Persia. I don't know if the presentation of uh, uh, Persia, what wo it was. I believe it was a, uh, a pair. A pair which crashed. It is M was crashing. In his mouth was found something like that. Uh, pawns. Let's see. Homosexual uh, sexual debate steers parliaments in Kenya. The secrets of a wave virus. A wave? We are uh, in the wave still. There is a wave here. There is a wave. The spirit helps the church avoid uh, ideological divisions. A one world religion, a one world currency, a one world government, a one world church, a one world common way of eating. You don't come up in, with your way of eating. You don't come up with your church. You don't say, I have truth. No. A one religion, a group or is agenda, a new world order agenda, unity, one, break the walls, let's build bridges, Pope Francis says. These are the same words which Dr. Carlson said. If you read in the message of uh, uh, which he gave the last message in your address of that six minutes, go listen. Laudato Si, putting faith on the front line of the climate justice fight, it's a war, it's a war. Fight fundamentalism by tackling poverty. Poverty? Who is this coming like he's tackling poverty? Like he's caring for the poor? I have covered these same messages. I don't have time for now. Go look for what I've covered before. Paul Francis to activists. Stand with migrants. Do not deny climate science. There is no such thing as Islamic terrorism. No such thing. It is over war. Now let's go to Kenya. Terrorist President Ruto Prans Krivi sector. Leader Mackenzie, a criminal. Do you know where Krivi is? It's near the coast. We are in the coast, the borders. It is near the coast, friends of Kenya. We are at the coast, at the shores. We are at the shores, friends. Do you understand what the Spirit of God is speaking? My sister, my brother, do you understand 
Will you understand what God is speaking in such an hour? Let's see how visa has shifted U.S. province overseas for years. It's about the population. Paul Park's cap on pricing to stem global warming and appeals to deny us. To deny us, it's all what you eat, what you drink. It's about what you take to your body, your temple, the temple of God. It's about the population. Brazil rushes budget to fight climate uh, change as de deforestation spikes. Deforestation, de 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 uh -huh. deforestation, uh, depopulation, d d d Do you understand? One currency, obesity, and party institution. Climate change pose triple danger. Uh, I have no time to cover this. Shares 2020 carbon emissions fall on the pack of fuel cells. I don't have time for to cover this. I've covered it before. Just go and understand how things are unraveling before us. This Augustus time, there was a tax. We are having a tax. In the time of Jesus Christ, this part, there was a tax. The Russo, we are having carbon tax. What is here? What should Elijah be doing? Elijah should be preparing the way for Jesus Christ is coming. Not to stay upon the earth as the Islam is teaching. No. Jesus is coming to take his people home. We must time pass through this time of a deal or ordeal. World Council, World Council of Churches urges for an immediate ceasefire in Sudan. Ceasefire. World Council, the churches we saw what they were doing in the pandemic. They are doing the same in this time. Faith leaders urge you to spread word. I made a call for church to be used as uh, uh, job centers or apps. Governments and faith leaders join forces to support poster driver. Uh -huh. You saw that one? It is also happening in Kenya. Churches are uniting to denounce Mackenzie and such, such like a leader of a cult leader. Many depopulation agenda in Kenya. Such like we don't know really what is behind. As we never knew what was happening behind the scenes of Pestilence 19, the same is true in Kenya. Mass fish deaths. Many people are dying without knowing God. I'll say chapter 4 verse 6. For my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have re rejected knowledge, ah, you will be destroyed. Since you have rejected the law of God. What is the Pope giving the world? A different support. A counterfeit. A new right. A new perspective of right. A new support. Not the support of the people. Not the 70 day support common and call Saturday. No. The Pope is call, saying that a new rest day. Climate healing by doing less one day of a week. This, here is, this is a dystopian society. We are entering in. We are in already. A cold French shower on all the terrorization. The, 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 the population. Do you understand? Pope Francis, the world is pastor. Ruto is listening to the pastor. His obedience. His children are listening. The Bible tells me in Revelation chapter 17 that these have one mind and they shall give their power and the strength unto the beast. Unto the beast. The beast is speaking. Rome is speaking. Rome is preaching. They are listening to him and they shall make war with the saints. We are in war. We are in a time of trouble. Pope urges all religions to unite for peace, justice. All religions are uniting. African nations comforted, shaken by words of Pope Francis. Kenya is shaken. They have one agenda. What, is, uh, what has been in the headlines? Let's walk the talk. They are must, they, let's walk the talk. But Pope Francis' words became a talk. How? Oh, the letter of Pope Francis became from a teddy. It became a teddy talk. What is that? A time of trouble is here for Christianity, true Christianity. Catholic groups pack UN request for international court to act on climate change. One, one entity to judge, like in the time of Nebuchadnezzar. One entity to judge, one government, one currency to tackle our common challenges. Europe is alliance with the US is the foundation of its security. Why do the nations rage to imagine to walk in Jesus Christ? The war is about, it's all about Christianity. It's about war against Jesus. It's about the war to, about Jesus. It's about the Sabbath. There is a counterfeit Sabbath here. Historic climate law signed by Peden as Catholic fingerprints all over it. It's a letter, a message for, a message for our art. This is a letter from Amman. Amman, the book of Esther, Amman with Mordecai. We are being troubled. We should be in ashes. Weep, weep, oh Amman. Amman is here. The church of God, Esther, it's a time of prayer. Pray, weep for the church of God. Weep, oh weep, weep. 
Weep. It's a time of weeping. Let's weep. Let's awaken our brethren. Let's weep. It all started and our churches have been sleeping. Let's weep. Weep, friends. Let's weep. Let's weep. Jesus Christ is saying, awake and let's weep. For a nation is come upon my land. The peace, the purpose is here. His teachings are been taken. Cattle groups pack UN requests for international call to act on climate change. This was prophesied that in Daniel chapter 8, verse 23 to 25, that the Antichrist was rise. Let no man deceive you by another means, for that the day of the Lord shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, so that he as God, sit in the temple of God, calling himself that he is God. The peace is here. The inversion, the inversion and an inversion, a true inversion is here. A true inversion is shaking kingdoms, medias, European Sunday Alliance, fishing with the Pope. Who should we be fishing with? With Jesus. But we still saying that we should be fishing with him. Judges, even in our defense, they have been saying, if you don't follow what we say, you are not part of us. Divisions have arisen among us. People are saying, where will we stand? Our churches have forsaken us. Even in the pandemic, they say, we don't know you. If you don't take the shot, you are not part of us. Who will stand with us? Sabbath switch off. Why to reclaim Sunday from the digital world? Sunday is never the Sabbath of the Lord. No, that is the Sabbath of the Antichrist, the papacy. A return to the 19th century style regression. What was in it? There was oppression over the Sabbath. Go read the story of Rome. It shed a lot of blood. They were apologizing for shedding blood in the time, the darkness, in the time of the dark ages. Where is Martin Luther to stand? Catholic result for sweeping climate action. In this way, after the latest UN report, who is the UN leader? The chaplain of the UN, Pope Francis, the chaplain of the UN. What is the agenda of the Pope Francis? Sunday as a day of rest, a Sabbath challenge, a challenge of Pope Francis. It is all about worship. It's all about worship. Who will you worship in such a time which we live? God is speaking to us. Who will you worship? A beast, the papacy has invaded the churches. Pest 19, the population in Kenya, Roman Catholic principles. Pope Francis, the chaplain of the UN. Do you understand? This Mackenzie has been speaking that Pope Francis is the Antichrist. We don't know what is really behind it. It is a war of a 70 day Adventist. It's about the earth message. Did you, did you listen to what uh, uh, Ruta has been speaking? Did you hear what he spoke about the dollarization? Did you understand? Do you know that the credit system in China is here? Becoming Catholic is a what is the effort and what is the weight? We are all Catholics now. We are all Catholics. If you don't, if you say you are different, you are a Sassid. You are an alien. Indeed, we are aliens. This is not our home. This is not our home, friends. Like Jesus Christ says, if my home was of this world, my people would have protested that I should not be delivered. We know very soon we are going to be delivered. Oh, we know it. I rejoice, friends. I rejoice in the Lord. Because it has been spoken, there will be time of trouble, wars and rumors. We see in Sudan, we see in Russia and various parts, and very soon we shall be delivered. If you speak about the pandemic, Ruto, the president, said, you will be jailed. He said, you will be jailed if you said you deny people to go to hospitals. You preach against that one, you are going to, to do what? You are a danger. You are threatening the church, the common church. We are all Catholics. This one, 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 this alliance. Why do the nations rage ah, against your son Jesus, O God of heaven? Why? It's because they are rejected the king of the universe. Seat of Austin demand pastors to turn over summons. This alliance has been going over and over for so long. A separation of church and the state is needed. A separation of church and the state is essential. Those things which are of Caesar, give to Caesar. Don't you know that the airport is the temple of God? If any man defied the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Pop calls for group of solidarity. Have a cast catastrophic quake. Catastrophic quake in Turkey, Syria. President Ruto roots for carbon pricing to promote climate justice. Starvation. 
our letter by Pope Francis became a movement. A Teddy talk, and now a film, a movie. The last drama, why drama is here? It goes for an environment to serve a purpose. What is happening in Kenya? New Rome Conference, new rights, new Rome Conference on gospel and violence could serve as a push for purple and, and psychical. I've seen it in Kenya. Do you understand what is happening in Kenya? Something is hidden. Something is hidden. Something new right. What is happening in Kenya? A terrorist thing. What is this? A new right. I've covered it. Go and uh, uh, look on it. Go and look on it. Go spawn and violence. Terrorist president Ruto Prands. Prands. Clevy sect leader Mackenzie. A criminal. We don't know what is really behind uh, the church. Huh? But we don't, don't you see the Seventh-day Adventist church is in trouble. Not only them. Even God's people who are in various churches in the world. For God he says, I have many people in Papron. Come out of uh, my people. Those people are in the Sunday churches. Come out of Sunday churches. Return. Return. The Pope has come up with this Sabbath. This is where you have been so long. In this so long time. But God is saying, 400 years in captivity. 400 years God is saying you have been in, in Egypt. Now come out and observe my Sabbath. Come out, God is saying. 400 years you have been in Egypt. But now God is saying, come out. Be separate. There is a movement here, a Teddy Talk movement. Here we are having Amman, a religious and a political entity. Come out. Oh, come out. It's the voice. Ah, oh, how can I cry? Come out, my brethren. Come out. There is a movement here. Amman is here. A letter of Amman is going to all nations. Come out. Ah, uh, come out. Come out, my brethren. Come out. It's the voice. Come out. Come out. There is a spiritual crisis here. It's all a spiritual crisis. Come on. Depopulation now. Depopulate them. These people are too many. They are consuming so much. Uh, what? Here. Yeah. Depopulate them. African judiciary is meeting in Nairobi. It's all started in Kenya. Starvation in Nairobi to discuss climate change and education. Kissing the Pope. Kiss the sun. Psalms chapter 2. Come out of ah, uh, my people. Come out. Uh, come out. Come out. Come out of Rome. Come out of ah, uh, my people. For our sins have reached unto heaven. And the God has remembered our iniquities. This master's fight being brought up, targeting of sermons. What is happening? Starvation. Starvation, friends. Starvation. Come out of Rome. Come out. There is a nation which is warring against the word of God. The branches have become dry. Come out. Father in heaven, thank you because you have spoken. Awaken your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen. Amen. Come out.